When I was a teenager and I was on the streets in Minneapolis, my name was JJ and I don't like to be called that anymore because I've come so far from that time. And I'm almost 60 and I have 10 grandchildren and two great grandchildren, um, three, three wonderful children. I'm a nurse at the White Earth Reservation. I am an artist. I've had seven one-woman shows in the Twin Cities. I'm working on a book called Daughter of Grace. I didn't feel safe in a lot of foster homes. And for some reason I felt safer on the street. I felt more in control of my life. I didn't feel victimized on the street. I didn't have accountability. I didn't have anyone that made me come home at a certain time. I didn't have a home. Nobody grounded me. Nobody said you're, you're being naughty or you need to be punished. I could do whatever I wanted to do. And I liked that freedom. Um, I met a guy on the street and he was part of these three brothers that were golden glove boxers and he's the one that got this other girl to teach me what I needed to do to bring home money. And you learn how to play that game. You learn how to not be emotionally connected to what you're doing. You learn that you have a power, a certain power, over men. Uh, you can make money, you can eat, you can buy cigarettes. You can buy needles or for drugs, which I was also into. I was doing a lot of drugs. I was um, shooting a lot of stuff that I didn't know what it was. The that was part of the whole the whole game. Even that was kind of special for me, my first time that I shot up. And it was one of the brothers that would put the belt around my arm and put the needle in my arm and shot whatever it was in there. And then he just held me. He just held me and I felt so safe as this euphoric feeling came over me and I felt cared for, um, protected. He didn't just shoot me up and walk out the door. He stayed and made sure I was okay. And I think at that time in my life, I was just looking for anything, just any connection with someone that even remotely acted like they actually cared. And I look back now and that's kind of, I can understand back then why I felt that way. I wouldn't feel that way now because I've come a long way but I understand how young people who are searching for love and affection and attention, and there's guys out there that will give it to you, and that will make you feel special and cared about. But I also, at the same time, I knew that if I just disappeared, they really wouldn't care. And they'd never go to the police and say, our friend is missing, because people just come and go on the street you can see them for a few days and pretty soon they're gone.